Hi all, this is Tim Olson, one of the developers for VitaCAD Pro, and today we are going to uh, show some of the new woodworking joint tools added into VitaCAD Pro version 9. The woodworking tools are located under the window woodworking tool palette. I've actually gone ahead and created a custom tool palette and dropped the icons to get the 64 by 64 bit larger icons on the screen. The five new joints added are rabbit, dado, miter, dovetail, and a tongue and groove joint. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate each one of these joints. Let's start off with the rabbit joint. And uh, what we're going to do is we have a, a drawer here on our screen that we're going to uh, cut out uh, a couple of joints to fit the back piece of the drawer onto the sides. Let's go ahead and hide the bottom. And let's go ahead and hide the front and back of the drawer. Now let's go ahead and create our rabbit joint. Now these uh, are one inch thick. Uh, so I am going to have the depth of the joint be a half an inch and the width be one inch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the edge that I want the joint to be parallel to. And then I want to pick the face that it lies upon. And let's go ahead and pick the back. Same thing. And then let's pick the other side. Pick the edge and the face. Edge face. And then that's it for our rabbit joint. Let's go ahead and turn on our two uh, front and backs and see how they fit in there now. Let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and do the bottom. And let's hide the bottom first of all, and I'm going to rotate it. And let's go ahead and put a rabbit joint all along the bottom so that plate, the box in the bottom, uh, can fit on it. And this time, let's see the depth. I have that as a quarter inch uh, width bottom, so let's go 0 0.25. And the sides are one inch, so let's have it go halfway through, so let's go 0.5. And I'm going to zoom up, and again we'll pick the edge, and then pick the face. Edge face, and then let's zoom down to the bottom, get the other two. Edge face, edge face. Now let's go ahead and turn on the bottom. And so there we have our, our quick drawer using rabbit joints. Next I'm going to go to Concept Explorer and I'm going to turn on a, another uh, model and this time demonstrate dado joints. And I'm just going to go ahead and isolate my layer. And let's do a zoom extents. And what we're going to do is add two shelves uh, to this bookcase. And we're going to add those shelves uh, to the bookcase using dado joints. Alright, let's uh, turn off the top and turn off the bottom. And we have a couple rabbit joints already on this. So we're going to go to the dado joint and we're going to create a through where this is going to run the whole length of the uh, part. I can also do stopped, blind, and custom dado joints. Custom is if you want to do like a, you want to select a line and have it go at an angle across your wood. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to specify the distance from the edge, and I'm going to go 7 inches, and the depth, we're going to go 0 0.5 inches, that's 1 inch thick wood, and let's put the width at 1. And then I'm going to zoom up over here, and I'm going to pick this edge, so we're going to go 7 inches up from this edge along this face. Now let's do this again, uh, only this time I'm going to do, let's do 14 inches. And we'll pick this edge, pick this face, and then we have our two dado joints on that side. You know what, we're going to do this side as well. So let's pick edge, face, that's 14 inches. Click on this, turn this back to 7, pick the edge, pick the face, and there we have our two. Now let's go ahead and turn everything on. 
And let's go ahead and I just grab this and I'm going to grab that endpoint, hold down my option key, and let's drag one in over here. Hold down the option key, pull it up, and put it in over there. And there's our real quick bookcase using potato joints. Now, like the mechanical wood design, the mechanical design features, you can also take the wood features and you can click on a face that was created by the feature and you'll notice the data entry window will show you the parameters for it. So let's say I didn't want it at 14 inches, I wanted it at 13 inches. I can go ahead and type that in. Or I can change the depth to 0 0.25 or the width to half an inch. So after you create your, your woodworking joint, you can go back, select it, and modify it. The next one we're going to talk about is the miter. And let's go ahead to our layer manager, isolate that layer. And what we're going to demonstrate here is, let's say you have a picture frame and you want to create 45 degree uh, joints on it. And so what we're going to do is pick this edge and you can see how that created a 45 degree angle. And then to mate it, we'll put another one on this side. And then we'll just run around on those edges to do all of them. And that is our miter joint. Go to Concept Explorer. This time we're going to do a dovetail. <coughs> Isolate our drawer. And now with the dovetail, you're going to have a tail board and you're going to have a pin board. And so let's go ahead and specify our parameters for it. And then we're going to select the face, you know, the end of the piece of stock of wood that we're going to have our tail board on. And so let's see if we can grab that, pick that face, and then we'll go ahead and apply everything to it. Let's go ahead and make the end pin. Let's make that a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit wider. Let's, see, let's turn this off so you can see these a little bit better. And let's do some modifications to it. Change the end pin to 25. There we go. Let's change the angle to 10 degrees. All right. Now let's say we get our, our dovetail parameters where we want them. Let's go turn back on this and let's make the mating uh, pin board for our dovetail and we'll just pick our pick our part that we want to have the pins on and then pick the uh, tail board and now you can see we've created our joint in there. <coughs> let's pull it out. Let's turn this off I'll pull this off so you can see a little bit better. You know what, I can't see my gripper, so I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn, I'm going to make that always visible. There we go. And then let's pull this out. Now you can see our joint. And again, let's say we decide to change one of the parameters, let's click on it. Let's change the number of dovetails to four. the tail pin width. Let's change that to 0.05. So there you can see you can modify and both the, the tails and the pins update with your parameter changes. The next joint that we're going to talk about is the tongue and groove. And we're going to go ahead and isolate. Let's say we have some floorboards or paneling that we want to have a tongue and groove on. And uh, let's, let's see how you would use the tongue and groove tool to apply this feature. All right, so we're going to put, uh, let's see how, how wide is this? This is, it's a half inch by two inches. So uh, we're going to have to make this smaller. Let's go 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 
0.01. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to select the uh, and we'll select and we're going to have it run all the way across the top. And there you can see the, um, the cutout and the groove that have been added. The tongue and the groove. The tongue and the groove that's been added. And then let's go ahead and See now this was opposite, so let's let's change the order that we pick these. There we go. We'll just pick that same order through here. Okay. And let's uh, let's go ahead and put these together then. And so there we have our, our tongue and group. 